Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And it's true, I don't personally find the Nintendo Switch that comfortable in handheld mode. I know, I know, it's outlandish. It's especially outlandish for someone that has, all things considered, reasonably big hands. You know, I mean, whoa, look at those whoppers. It's just, it's just not comfortable for long periods of time. It's just not. So I've had a fair few of the old grips during the years. Most recently, it was the Nitro deck, which I know is not just a grip per se, but you know, it, it still falls into that category. I've also had this monstrosity, it's even less technically a grip, but you know what, it's funny to reminisce. But the one I always go back to is the Satisfy. It looks a bit like this, but slightly larger. This one's for the Switch Lite, it's the only one that was immediately on hand. It's got a lot of good design ideas, and it's just the most comfortable for me with my larger hands. It's, it's just the way it is. I've tried loads of others, this one for me was the best, but there was always a big, big old problem. God, it would really help if I actually had the big one. Found it. The Switch is great in here. It's really comfortable. I can use it for really long periods of time without any kind of discomfort. But when it comes to then putting it in docked mode, which to be honest is how I spend most of my time playing my Switch, even if you put it in the right way round, it doesn't fit. It's just the nature of the beast. The prongs are here that support the switch. It just won't go in. It just simply won't. And yeah, you could probably get like an extension cable or something, but it's really ungainly and stuff like that. So I have to take it out each time and then put it in the dock and then take it out of the dock and put it in here. And it's a bit of a pain in the ass, especially considering that whilst it's not too hard to get it into the grip, it it's just a little bit too forceful for me to want to do it time and time again. It holds it super stable as a result, but it just makes me go Gah! every time I put it in or take it out. There's just that little bit of extra force because this is obviously designed for the Switch and the Switch OLED, which means it's tight on the OLED and less tight on the original. I haven't actually tried it. Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> so imagine my excitement when late last year, yes, I have had this for some time. The people over at Satisfy very kindly sent me this. Oh, it's it's got a switch in it. This is the Satisfy Ronin. In fact, this is the um it's it's the definitely not Zelda edition one. <laughs> Obviously, it's not called Zelda for reasons. Um, but Oh, Mythic Edition, it says it on the back. And if I haven't already made it painfully obvious and the design hasn't also made it painfully obvious, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, it just straddles it. And it even works when the switch is in there. Moreover, the switch actually goes into this easier than the old one, which is, ha, what's it like with the original? It's supposed to work with both and yeah, okay, it's definitely not as strongly in there as it is with the OLED, but that's still, that's still fine. I still have to use force to get it out. Nicely done. So you can play handheld very happily on your Switch with lovely comfy grips, and then when it comes time to dock it, you simply, you don't do it like this, obviously. But for demonstration purposes, you just, uh, clunk and it just sits in there. The grips and everything, the little bits at the bottom, it's all designed to fit ever so, ever so snugly in there. And it is, I can't deny, it is a slight squeeze to get it in and out. It's nothing major, don't get me wrong, but there is a slight discrepancy and a slight bulge from the dock when you put it in. It kind of sort of spreads it out ever so slightly. I'll get some calipers and put some numbers up on the screen for you. And that's not exactly ideal, and there's a little part of me that really wishes it didn't do that, but a far bigger part of me does not give a monkeys because it means I can just dock my gripped switch. And as a result, I haven't until this video taken this off my switch. There's been no need. Admittedly, it does make it less portable. You can't just slip it in a bag in the same way, but you do get a case if you buy that as well. And it goes in and then it closes and then it's um, it, it's uh, better. The comfort when using this is even, mar I would say marginally better than the other Satisfy products. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a sort of a psychological thing. It's just like, I don't have to take it in and out. So I'm never sort of using it and thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to take this off. But this is without a doubt, oh, there's a little bonus. It, 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 it doesn't get in the way of the kickstand, which you might sort of think, well, that's great. So you can use it as a kickstand. You can't really, it, it just sort of, it, it just sort of falls over. But it does mean that you can access the micro SD card slot, which is a really nice feature, uh, and the serial number. There is one extra feature as well, and that's um, if you want to, you can take your game cards that you're not using and you can uh, store, store them in the 
in, in the grips there. I've got to be brutally honest. I don't want to do this. I feel very exposed when it's just sort of loosely in there. It's not super tight. It's it's an extra thing to do with what is arguably empty space. Is it better that way? Uh, no. But I can tell you for free, I'm not using it like that. I'm, I'm, I'm just not. It does also mean that these little gaps, you sometimes feel them when you're playing, especially on your, or at least for me, my middle fingers. And whilst that's not, it, it, it's not ideal, but at the same time, it's also a really minor complaint. It is the biggest complaint I have about this, and it is incredibly minor. Personally, I, I don't care about storing my game cards in this grip, so just... Just don't. Just don't. Just get rid of it, ideally. I mean, obviously it's a manufactured product and it's too late to change it now, but if there's ever a revision... <laughs> but I don't think there will be, and for one good reason, the Switch is at the end of its sort of standard life cycle, presumably. And so this grip has come right at the end and it's just like, oh God, did it have to take so long? I understand why, it's no one's fault, you know. You know, the original Satisfy grip was made for the original Switch and then Nintendo released the OLED and then, you know, sort of manufacturing and getting around the limitations and making it dockable was probably a bit of a nuisance and that took time as well. I can understand why it took so long, but there's just a part of me that's just yelling at the cosmos going, why couldn't it have been sooner? Because yeah, this is how I use my Switch all the time now. Every single time I use it, it's in this grip because I never have to take it out for anything. You know, I mean, I'm fairly certain it doesn't hide anything apart from changing the Joy-Con, I suppose, but... Yeah, don't do that. Seriously, if you're a big hand person like me and you just want to be able to play your Switch handheld far, far more comfortably, I cannot recommend this thing enough. It is just, it is the grip to end all grips. It's better than every other grip I've ever used, bar none, because you get all the functionality that you would expect. It doesn't strip anything away, take away any features, and you can dock it. You can dock it. I genuinely won't be happy until every single Switch owner uses one of these. Oh yeah, I suppose it makes it a tiny bit heavier, but if you want to learn more about these or even pick one up, which I can highly recommend, then make sure you check out the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you grab hold of that subscribe button and never let go, even when you need to plug it into your TV. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>